Hi everyone, it's Jackie here with a journal, um, a single signature soft cover journal that I've made. This one is not going to be for sale. It's a present for a friend's birthday at the beginning of March. Um, made it about a month ago. Uh, and I've wanted to upload it because it's very much based on a Nick the Booksmith um, journal, as the others have been that I've made and you've probably seen. Um, when I made the first one, Nick hadn't done a course for these. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, she has now done a course, which I've bought and um, purchased because to me that's the fair thing to do. I've also been adding links to that course to the videos that I've made already. Um, turns out I do make mine a little differently to the way she does and I quite like the way I do them but it is very similar and the original idea was definitely based on her carpet bagger journal carpet bagger journals which are fantastic so thank you Nick for all you do and your talent and for the courses you put up which I think are great value um, anyway my journal is approximately nine by six um, I've used the it, it's my friend is um, a suffragette boffin really she knows an awful lot about them, so I hope this is something she's going to like. I've used the Suffragette colours, purple, green and white. I have taken a bit of liberty with how I've used those colours. Um, the cover is slightly flexible and you can see that it's fairly neat the way I've done it. This is Emmeline Pankhurst on the front. I've put um, some charms on the side here. Uh, sorry on the spine they're just clipped onto a Tim Holtz pin and I've tied some bows and stuff uh, there's a bit of fluff at the top they're just paper clips and on the side um, pages there's a few charms which I'll go through as we get to them I've used an eyelet closure and uh, sari silk sari silk tie because I hadn't got much of this and I hadn't got any other purple, I've literally just tied those on in a single knot. Um, but it works quite well and I quite like the way that's fallen down there. So on this page we have, um, I think on the front I forgot to say, this is an old linen handkerchief cut up that my friend gave me. So I've tried to use some of the things she's given me as well. Um, there's a pocket here with some more of that handkerchief. Everything. Uh, ephemera wise is reproduction um, and I've backed it onto coffee dyed or tea stained paper um, just a pretty page here this is poor Emmeline in prison and this is obviously one of the paper clips with a bit of ribbon there I have this old book I think it was um, published in 1920 something but it's um, might be 1926 and I think it's the first 25 years of, of the last century so when I was looking through that I was looking for bits to do with suffragettes so this is principal events of 1910 and on this page it says Mr Churchill horse whipped by suffragette <laughs> don't really bear thinking about it, does it and this is the Labour Party at the time um, my friend is also a member of the Labour Party there we go. it's a reproduction poster in a paper bag I've tried to leave plenty of space for journaling as well. She's a good writer, um, so hopefully she'll use this to write in. I've used a charm here, a cat and mouse charm. Anybody that knows about the suffragettes will know about the cat and mouse act. Um, some more scrapbook paper, photograph taken outside of Parliament, and a little bit of sari silk collage there. I couldn't resist a bit of bling. Um, this is Annie Kenny and a reproduction of the cover. I was going to make this into a little booklet, but this is quite fat, so in the end I've decided to leave that as it is. Um, this is from, this page is from an 1892 book and called The Housewife. Probably not the most suffragette thing you could think about, but some of these little snippets are really, really interesting to read, so hopefully she'll like those. This is Sylvia Pankhurst, um, it's one of Emmeline's daughters, looking fairly glamorous there and being arrested in that picture. This is the 
second charm which is one I've made and I've just used purple, white and green beads for that. Some of these papers I use spray inks to colour and dye. Um, it's Emmeline again. And this is Emmeline being arrested. This picture is her with her two daughters, I believe. Um, and then this is a page out of um, that book I was telling you about. This is 1912 and is about the race in South Pole. But here we've got a fair bit here about suffragettes and votes for women. Some peaceable, some not so peaceable. This is a lady who chained herself to the House of Commons gates. This I've turned into a pocket. Um, there's nothing in there at the moment. And this is one of Emmeline's supporters here refusing to get up. So I guess she was probably arrested as well, poor woman. More pages of ledger sheet. This is Christabel, one of Emmeline's daughters. And there they are in prison, 1914. And um, it's a little purple flower. This lady is called Rosa May Billinghurst. Um, she attended rallies in her invalid carriage. Um, this is a young lady called Dora Thewlis, who was only 16 when she was arrested. And here we've got some of the nurses and midwives of the time demonstrating this little suffragette poem. In this bag, um, this side of the bag, I've put uh, a copy of this advertisement. This is rather horrific treatment so many of the women went through while in prison. And this lady is Lillian Hickling, and this is just after she was released from Holloway Prison. Um, it's a dictionary page here with some of the um, definitions and a little tip-in, fabric tip-in there of the colours and another, I was lucky to find this charm, a little, you see that, little, um, sorry, not very good at this as you know, there we are, little cat and mouse there. This is poor Emily Davison who died as many of you will know, um, when she ran out in front of the King's Horse at the Derby. Um, what I find most poignant about these two photographs is that this really, really looks like the very same hat that she's wearing then. I don't know when that photograph was taken. Um, but there you go. And this is the Cat and Mouse Act, um, which you can read up about. I'm not going to go into details. This is a more modern um, homage or memorial to Emily Davidson um, and I'll hold that there if you want to pause and read that, please do. That was put up in the House of Commons by Tony Benn. And then I've included another page out of the book, um, which is after the, the war, when women aged 30 and over initially were able to vote for the very first time. So there we go, that's my Suffragette album for my friend's birthday. Um, I hope she likes it. I really, really enjoyed putting this together. Um, and thank you to Pinterest as well, because I don't know where I'd have got the pictures otherwise. Thank you very much. Bye bye.